Hello everyone, good evening, how's everyone doing? Don't mind my little sore I got right here. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I hope everyone's having a good um, evening. This evening, um, I'm going to tell you like the new changes that I've made on my channel um, to make it kind of look more professional. Um, and I actually like it how I have it. Um, and it's easier for you guys to be able to get to my social medias and to get to my subscription box. Subscriptions, if you would like to um, subscribe to them. Um, but I forgot to mention, because I forgot that I was subscribed to this, is the Dollar Shave Club. And what the Dollar Shave Club is, and it always comes with these booklets. And this is my second time getting this. And so since this is March, it's St. Patrick's Day theme booklet. And this is it says your bathroom reader, which you read when you're going to the bathroom. Um, but I like to read these and share share them. I shared February's and I'm gonna share March. But every month, like to start off, you will get a package. Um, and it'll have a razor, um, handle, and then a pack of four razors in here. And you're supposed to change your razor once a week. But, um, I don't change it once a week because I can use a razor for maybe a month and it'd be still good. Hi, Cassidy. Each month... After you get your starting kit, you will just get the razors. And the razors are like $9.99. Um, you could choose if you want, like, a, I think two, four, or I think this is a six blade. Um, I believe it is. Or this many um, blades. I believe it's six. Hi Cassidy. Hi um brother and um Andrew. Hi Heather. Hi Tyler. How much are they? Okay, your starting kit, which comes with a um handle, and then your then your razors. I paid and I actually got an extra razor for my mom, a razor handle, which was like six dollars extra, and I believe I First paid like 12 something. But after that, um, each, each month, $9 um, for a pack of five. And that's actually pretty good because, not a pack of five, pack four, sorry. Um, and that is pretty good because if you go to the store and buy these types of razors, you'd be paying about $30 for them. Um, but with this Dollar Shave Club, um, you get them way, way, way cheaper. So there is that. Um, hey, Brianna. Dollar Shave Club, right. Yes. Um, and th here are the new changes that I have done to my channel. Because I want it to look kind of more professional looking. Well, I'm trying to. Is that Shave Club really good? Yes. I, and the razors are really nice. Um, I've been using them, and they are nice. They like cut you, like they get your hair all off of your body, and it's they are really nice. And you could choose how many blades you want. And I got the ones that have the most blades. And see, this is actually a men's subscription, but women can use it too. And I love using men's razors because actually they're better. Yes, they are really good razors. Let me go get the handle, and I'll show you what the handle looks like. Hold on.
Okay. This is what the handle looks like. It's really nice. It's really nice weight, like heavy weight. Um, and then again, it has like the razor blade. But yeah, it's it's all wet because my mom took a bath. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, how much are they? Okay, for um, your starting kit, which includes like a razor, um, which includes this, which you can add on and get another one for six dollars. Um, then it comes with a pack of four razors. And then it comes with like some free stuff. Um, I believe if I didn't get the um, extra razor, it may have been around like $10 for the start kit. And then, hi Heather, hi Jennifer. Um, thank you all new subbies. Um, and then like each month after that, you only pay like I believe ten dollars for each razor like for a pack of four razors. It's still saying equipment. Okay. I'll have to fix it, Tyler. I'll fix it when I get off. I know it's bugging you. Well, I pay twenty nine dollars for five raises yeah and see this is actually a men's subscription and women can use it too and their razors are amazing they're sharp they they cut your hair all off and it's really smooth um what's my twitter okay here is what um how i changed my channel okay in the description below i have a list of all the subscription boxes that I'm subscribed to and I'm going to be getting. So if you're interested in any other subscription boxes that I show you, you can just go to my description and hit the link and it'll take you straight to their website. Um, also, I put in my description all my uh, social medias and I linked them up. So, like, all you have to do is just go and click the link, and it'll take you directly to my Twitter, directly to my Facebook. The only one that I couldn't get is Snapchat because it wouldn't allow me to do a link straight to Snapchat, my um, thing. And also, um, I changed my About section on my channel. You can also go to my About section on my channel and... Um, hit the about section and I put all the names of the subscription boxes and all the names of my social medias and then I put the links there so now everything is all in blue and you just have to uh, push the blue um, lettering and it will take you directly to wherever you want to go um, the only thing that I couldn't get in blue letters, um, like how, you'll see if you go to my about section, is a Dollar Shave Club because you can only put like so many links um, in this section. And then, but my Twitter um, is SweetBoo85. It's S W E E T B O O 85. And. If you are new to my channel and and you're just visiting for the first time, I want to say welcome. Thank you for um, joining. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to me and subscribe to people in the chat. Now, I have heard, I have heard, and I don't know if it's true or not, because I don't get notifications or anything to let me know this. But they say that you're not allowed to say, tell people to subscribe to you or to subscribe to your chat. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but I like doing that because, because I, I just don't do just live streams. I do beauty boxes, unboxings, I do makeup reviews, I do get ready with me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I have a couple get ready with me that I'm planning on doing. 
Um, I'm planning on doing a get ready with me using this stuff. Planning on doing another get ready with me um, using all the stuff that I got out of my um, grab bag from Too Faced. I'm also planning on doing another get ready with me um, using the stuff that I got from my boxy charm. And my channel is going to be um, changing, and this is a promise. Um, and there will be absolutely no drama, no fighting on, on my channel. And if people, or trolls, or um, come up here and fight and, and things like that, um, they will be blocked because I've been drugged since December, and it's not right what these other people have done to me. Um, so I'm doing my own thing, doing my makeup, interacting with you guys, um, like doing fun streams, doing streams, doing get ready with me's. Hi, Betty Boop. And I'm going to be reading some stuff in here. I'm not going to read everything because it, it's just really long and long wording. I'm not wearing green, Tyler. Um, who's wearing green? I'm I'm wearing 17.65 carats of emeralds, a 6.33 carat solitaire ring, a 2.5 solitaire ring, a 5.9 carat solitary pendant, all um, and a 3.2 carat bazillion. Lever backs. That's cool. I bought all the gemstones and had my jewelry set them in gold. Well, that's cool, Tyler. Hey, Jennifer. Thank goodness it's not drama allowed. I've only been on YouTube for a few months and I've never seen as much hate and drama yeah I know and like all the videos I had made I put them in private because I don't want that stuff on my channel and and I was trying to stick up for myself and things like that and yeah some of you guys seen the really bad side of me getting upset and that's not good I don't like doing that it's your friend's birthday, Heather. Well, happy birthday to your friend. Hi, brown bear. I'm doing pretty good. And then I got like a sore right here. It's not a, it's not a cold sore. It was like a bump. So then I thought I, I felt like a little hair there. So then I was picking at it, and it turned into this. And I shouldn't have been like picking at it. But yeah. <laughs> Lacey says, I almost got myself caught up in the drama, but I stopped it before it, it became too light. I like positive streams, positive videos, um, positive comments, everything positive. Yes, and I do too. And like there, I was ha had a lot of hate comments, and all I did was block and delete them and, of course, take picture of them. And now I know how to record, like, um, yeah, that's what I think it is, um, brown bear. And after what I saw the other night, I do not support the, well, I don't support them either. Um, it, it's just horrible what they did to me and my mom. Um, and now I figured out how you can screen record. I finally found the app. So, like, if somebody's bullying me, I will be screen recording it. So then I can have evidence saying, hey, I have this video. They did say this, but I'm not going to get into it in the middle of it. I'm just going to, like, record the evidence. Hey, Cassidy. Buddy Boop says, glad to hear no more drama. Are you going to miss going on the drama channels? I don't mind drama because I don't let it affect me. When I say no more drama, I don't, I'm not going to bring the drama on my channel. Now, I will watch um, my people that I like to watch. I like to watch Stephanie, Amanda Love, 
um, MFW. I like to watch those people. I'm staying away from shoot the shit. Um, that's the main one I'm staying away from because anything and everything that comes out of the mouth is a lie. Um, those are the main people I'm staying away from. Um, and, and I like watching Kirsty too. Good for you, uh, Rebecca. That, that is the way it should be. I like making friends. I watched your mom a couple of days ago, and I enjoy her. I subbed her, too. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, my mom is a good person. My mom is a very smart person. And, yes, she talks about the Bible. That's her thing. She likes to do that. And she likes to read and and spread the word and she's reading from a book of what stuff is said and people get upset and saying she's preaching and she's not preaching she's just reading what the different books that she has over there the words out of them i unsub to scs i will not support them when they trash mom bear and becca their channel is too much evil for me yeah Oh, I don't have green, but my walls have green. Like, that's kind of like a bluish green. Life is too short for all the drama. Your mom seems like she is a great lady. Yes, she is. And and these people are like, oh, she's not a giving person. She's not nice. She's evil. She's not giving. Number one, my mom is giving, but she doesn't broadcast who she has helped and how she has helped and the people that she has helped you don't when when you do it truly out of your heart you don't go around bragging about it um Tyler says majory vid didn't like it and deleted it and retaped upload Rebecca you're a lucky girl because I have three sets of amethyst studs in silver, light, medium, and dark. Watch, a, watch and choose what you want me to send you. Oh, really, Tyler? Okay, I will watch your video. That's so nice of you. And Baby says you should have done a St. Patrick's Day makeup look. You know, I act... I actually forgot it was St. Patrick's Day. I had no clue that could, that it was St. Patrick's. But then I seen all these people like um, doing St. Patrick's Day looks. I'm like, when is St. Patrick's Day? Brown Bear says, I don't have have on green. I hope my husband pinches me. <laughs> Naughty Brown Bear. Uh, your mama touches many people the folks that don't like what she does don't have to listen um hi craig how are you um yeah exactly and i think sometimes because my mom tells the truth my mom does not lie Pe people are getting really aggravated because she's telling me and think these people are good people on St. Pat's Day, uh, I'm old Taylor. You're old Taylor. Well, old Taylor's in the house. Okay, guys. I'm going to read a little thing in here. I'm not going to read all of it because it's just, like, too long. But the thing I'm going to read, and I do not own any rights to this pamphlet. These aren't my words. It's fair use. Um... Uh, it's called A Professional Leprechaun's Guide to St. Patrick's Day. Lacey says, everybody has struggles in their life and it's not fair to judge what we don't know. Yeah, I know, Lacey. Well, thank you, Craig. Okay, it says, um, this is what I'm reading. I'm just going to read this page. It says, Scotty the Leprechaun, dubbed the most popular leprechaun in all of New York, gives us his tips 
for getting through St. Patty's Day unscattered or unscathed. It's unscathed, sorry. It says, rest up. You want to get a good night's sleep before the big day. Plain and simple, says Scotty. You want to get to the bar by 10 o'clock, 11 at the latest. So wake up early and be fresh, then take a shower. You want to be nice and clean and be fresh because it's going to be a long day. Oh, thank you, Heather. Yeah, I got kind of cold, so I put this shirt on, and it actually fits me really good because I've lost weight. I've lost about 17 pounds, so it's like it fits. It's not snug like it used to be. Heart of Scotland. Not here for long, sweetie. Just wanted to pop in and show you my support to your channel. Oh, thank you, Heart of Scotland. And if any of you guys are new to my channel, which I know there are quite a few, please subscribe to everyone and subscribe to me. Thank you, Heart of Scotland. Yes, I've lost about 17 pounds, so and I actually look pretty good. It says, dress up. Dress in full green attire, insists Scotty. Oh, really, Brown Bear? That's cool. It says, that means from the hat to the shoes, you must be in all green. Boxers and or underwear too. Whatever you put on under there, bring some green. It says, bring some green condoms too. Okay. So this channel is going to be 18 plus and over. <laughs> I think... You gave me the 17 pounds, LO. My, mine's from my medication that I've gained. Oh, Ellie Brown Bear? <laughs> That's cool. Um, what I, how I've really lost weight was I just stopped drinking pop. Um, like sweet tea. Now I do drink some sweet tea, but not as much as I, I, I was. I drink the flavor water more. I don't eat candy. Um, I do have sugar-free chocolate in there. I don't eat it all the time, but I uh, I cut back on what I eat. I don't eat bread a lot. Like I still only eat one meal a day. I'm just eat three meals a day, but I choose more healthier options like yogurt and with fruit and, and things like that. <laughs> okay, it says drink up. You want to pick out your favorite Irish bars that are going to attract a lot of people. And by advises Scotty. It could be a long day, so pick out your three best local Irish bars. I've been to 30 bars in, in a day, but I say to try not to exceed three to five bars. Just focus on a few places with good atmosphere and keep the green beer flowing. You don't want to spend more time traveling than drinking. Well, I don't drink, so I am not going to go to no bars. Hi, board sister. Hi, Miss Bethy. The next thing says, shut up. If there's a leprechaun there, don't get angry with him, warned Scotty. It's a row and it's supposed to be fun. So don't get mad at him if he flirts with your girl. Because the next day, you're going to forget everything that happened anyway. Brown Bear says, I don't drink either. Be careful out driving today. Lots of folks on the road tonight that have been. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. So let's see what else. Um, it's beer, B 
before liquor, never been sicker. It's a real thing. Okay. Here's this thing. I'm going to read this. Let me go get a drink. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. I'm thirsty. Oh, guys. <clears throat> Heidi Meyer. I also want... I got my 23 and Me results in. And... And I'm going to be... Um, let me turn on my phone. And I'm going to be um, telling you what they are. If you guys want to know. It says, is beer before liquor, liquor never been sicker a real thing? Miss Beth says, how are you, love? I took your box to the post office Wednesday. World Mail wanted to, chain, to charge me over $100 for postage, so I brought it home. LOL. UPS are picking it up. From me on Monday, though. Oh, really? Okay. Jennifer says, not me. I don't drink either. In 1997, a drunk driver hit hit me head on, and it messed me up for life. Oh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. Yeah. Okay, it says, upping the ante. Well, it says here, Dr. Aaron White, Senior Sci Scientific Advisor at the National Institutes of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, introduces some reality to the classic frat house mantra. Hi, Mandy. <laughs> and it says... Upping the ante. While it's possible that pounding shots after drinking beer could irritate the stomach lining and some people making them feel sick, there's a more realistic explanation. Most folks are simply more inclined to do shots once they're ready, already hammer, hammered on beer. You're, you're generally more likely to switch from beer to liquor rather than to downgrade to be beer um, from harder stuff in this all overall abuse over com compensation is the real corporate behind your next morning misery it's this light side and dark side Guys, I'm. Hi, Susan. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? It says adding dark spirits like whiskey um, to the mix may also result in worse hangovers. Which I never knew that. Who knew that? I didn't know that. Uh, that's because the they contain. Con congeners, impurities introduced during fermentation that are responsible for some of the nasty and aroma of what you're drinking. One 2009 study conducted by Brown University found that those who 
consumed whiskey, experienced more intense headache, nausea, thirst, and fatigue than those who drank vodka. So if you're downing whiskey after beer, yeah, you may be in trouble. And it says, just one more. Why do we want to keep drinking when we're already drunk anyway? Blame your brain. Alcohol stimulates the production of dopamine, activating a desire rewarded response. That, that is, it makes you feel good when you give it more of what it wants, i.e. booze. This results in your brain craving more tequila shots even when you know you've already had enough to hospitalize a bronch was it bronch bronchotic reno rhino thanks a bunch brain yeah okay now this stuff's just like activities to do okay so i'm gonna show you That must be what happens with an alcoholic. Yeah, it probably, yeah, because like your brain produces dopamine and they drink and they want more and more and more. It's like when people are addicted to pain medicine or, or heroin or anything like that, like, and some people, not all, not everyone, but some people, they want more and more and more. Okay, guys. Um, if you if you were knew that if you were subscribed to me and you knew that I had taken um, a 23andMe um, genetic testing, ancestry testing, and I did the health, and I did that January 22nd, I got my results back maybe last week. Um, that's when I got my results back. And I'm going to share them with you. Now, with my health and stuff, nothing really important came up. I went, I'm not going to pass any, um, like, traits or any, like, harmful, um, like, genetic disorders if I have children. I'm not no carrier. The only thing that came up was, um, I think I, it's a trait for, mona I think it's monocular, um, it's eye problem, where you go blind, basically. I have a trait for it, but it doesn't mean I'm going to get it. Does make sense when I did drink on occasion, it was vodka and no hangovers, don't drink now too hard on my diabetes. Yeah, Mandy, I'm a diabetic too. I, I've never drank though. Okay, so I did this ancestry test and the thing about this ancestry test um, on 23andMe, you take the test, yeah, macular degeneration. Um, you take this test and if other people have like it will tell you who you are related to and the funny part of it is is when I I looked at this and I um, I was looking at the people because half these people I have no clue that I'm even related to but my cousin my cousin um, was on here um Dina and um and see we're related to like kings and queens and we're related to like a lot of like famous a couple famous people and it's really cool i don't know my whole history but um and i didn't know like what i was i didn't know who i was like like what my background is um 
So I am going to tell you. It says I'm 99.7% European. 99.7 European. I'm 98.3% Northwestern Western European. And that includes that I'm 55, I'm 55.4% British and Irish. That's maybe why I got my pretty skin. Um, and see, my mom is doing one, but she's doing the ancestry one. She's going to do the ancestry one. I did 23 me and it and told me like who I'm related to like second, third, fourth, sixth cousins and I have no clue who these people are. I never met them in a day in my life except only one which was my cousin. Well, actually no two. I think my cousin and her daughter was on there too. Yeah, Susan. Hi Erica. Okay, and then it says I'm 25.9% French and German. And that's pretty cool. Then I'm 5.3% um, Scandinavian, which my aunt did a DNA test, which I think she did the Ancestry one. And they said that she was Scandinavian. She has Scandinavian in her. Um... And then I'm less than 0.1% Finnish, F-I-N-N-I-S-H. And then I'm 11.6% broadly Northwestern European, which I don't know what broadly means. I guess it must be like the region. Where are you reading this from? Oh, my results from 23andMe. They're my, they're my results. From 23andMe. Um, then I'm 0.9% Southern European. And then 0.9% Broadly Southern European. Then I'm 0.4% broadly European. And then, which I didn't know that. Oh yeah, I didn't know this. And I thought this was neat. I'm 0.2% East Asian and Native American. And then less than 0.1% unassigned. That is really cool that I have Native American in me. No black, but I got Native American. Um, and then it tells you down here like the generations, like how far back you are. So British and Irish, I'm one to three generations. Um, French and German, I'm um, two to four generations. Scandinavian, I'm um, between four and seven generations. And then Finnish, I'm um, six to eight. And the Native American, I'm um, six to eight. And then, let me get to the people that I'm related to. I'm 50%. Uh, I am 0.5% bitch. I get grouchy in the morning. <laughs> well, how much is that? Okay. For just the ancestry, just if you just wanted to just do the plain ancestry, um, right now they're having a St. Patrick's Day sale for 20% off. It ends March 18th. Um, let me get, let me get it. Hold on. I'll tell ya. 
Right now, just for the Ancestry kit, it's $79. But if you want the Health and Ancestry, um, it's $159 right now. It's normally, for the Health and Ancestry, it's normally $199. And then for the Ancestry, it's $99 normally. Um, but it's really good because with 23 and Me, when you do it, and if there are people who are related to you, um, they will show all the people who you are related to. Um, let me get some of these people, because, like, some of them, I don't know who they are, like I said, um... But it's neat. I want to do that. My sister did it and one of my cousins. Hi, Kim. Okay. I'm trying to upload the DNA relatives. It says that I have 1,076 relatives. Half these I don't even know. Now, I do know Dina Sullivan Smith. That's my cousin. She's my first cousin. And we share 13.9% of the 44th segment of my DNA. And it tells you what segments you relate, how you related, and what segments of your DNA you related on. It's really cool. And then Cass Cassandra Cosby, that's my my cousin. That's I believe Dina's daughter. Um, I don't keep up with my dad's side of the family, and this is my dad's side. Um, oh, that's cool, brown bear, and. Cassandra Cosby, she's my first to second cousin. We share 7.12% of the 24th segment. Then I'm related to a Thelma Jean Taylor. I don't know who that is. But she's my second to third cousin. And then Melissa Brown. She's my second cousin. I don't know who she is. Um, hold on, guys. I'm thirsty. Hold on. And then... Like, then I'm related to a Kathleen Carter. I don't know who she is. She's my second to fourth cousin. And Nina Owen. She's my second to fourth cousin. I was just going to say maybe don't give for me. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just... I won't give any more um, full names. Um, Betty Boop. Jim says, I hate to run off, but I have a phone call. Okay, Jennifer, thank you for stopping in. But yeah, like, you know a lot of Carters? Yeah, like, some of these people, like, I don't know who they are, but they're related to me. Like, second to fourth cousin. Like, some of them I've never even met. And, and this would probably be on my dad's side. Because I don't think any of them are on my mom's side. Or maybe they are on my mom's side. Some of them may, some of them may be on my mom's side. But I think some of them... Most of them are on my dad's, I think. Mandy's... Hi, unicorns. 
How are you doing? Are you still in the hospital, unicorns? Mandy says, so neat to hear. One day I want to try it. I know my mom and dad immigrated when he was like six from Australia. So not much info on that side. That is cool, um, Tyler. And wouldn't it be cool if you guys did this? Did this? And I was related to you? And like all these... And you'd be like, yeah, she's the crazy one. I don't want to be related to some crazy person. <laughs> but but it'd be cool. It'd be cool that like if um you guys would be related to me, and I and I would have had no clue I was related to any of you guys. And um, it's like half these last names I don't even recognize. You know, since my love, been thinking about you, sweetheart. Yeah, I've been thinking about unicorns too. I know she's been in the ICU, and I'm just hoping she's getting better. Like, and like with these people, um, you can contact them, and write them, and like talk to them. I should write my cousin and say, "Hi, Dina. How are you?" Mom, would these people be related um dad's side and not your side? I don't know, they're probably your side. And, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, and like I don't know half those people, but I guess I'm all related to them somehow on the segments of my DNA. Dana is your cousin. Um, Cosby's my cousin. Melissa Brown. I don't know who Melissa Brown is. I mean you you have probably 10,000 people that are related. I have 1,076 uh, Jason, people. Jason Hinton right there. That's my great, great grand uh, father's Hinton right there. I have 1,076 people I'm related to. Yeah, this Hinton is from my uh, grandmother, great grandmother. Hi, Simply Bonnie. Thank you for stopping by. Um, talked once. I'm feeling better. Much love to you, Beth. Well, that's good, unicorns. Hi, Rebecca. My husband has never met any of the relatives from his dad's side. They all, they all are in Ohio. Maybe you are related to my husband. Who, who's your husband? And where where does your relatives like what area does your relatives live in? Because I live in Marietta. Now I have a cousin um, who's married to um, people that are down the street from me. I I guess I'm related to them. I don't know. Jason, like, this is Jason Hinton, third to fourth cousin, one point four percent shared. And it tells you what segment of my DNA they're related to me on. Well, that's where it is, right? There. Yeah, on the third segment of my that's DNA. That's my your grand my dad's grand uh, my dad's grandmother. Yeah, that's so the, these are probably dads and yours. Yeah. But yeah, cause see, my mom is doing her ancestry, doing her ancestry, and. And with Ancestry, you can actually go look and look up people and look up people's pictures and things, but this you can't. And I was thinking about doing the Ancestry too, but see, I don't know my dad's side of the family that well. Like, my cousin Dina, she knows, like, everything. And I'm reorganizing my beauty room, so I won't be typing but I'm listening. Okay, I'm Bonnie. Yeah, I need to clean my room and put everything up. It's like a mess. Well, Bethany, that's neat. My Nana's maiden name was Daughtery. I knew a Daughtery. I worked with a Daughtery at the Arbors. I'm not sure what area. I don't want to give my last name online. It's 
really unusual, and I don't. Oh, that, that's fine, Brown Bear. Brown Bear, do you have a um, Facebook? Because you can um, Facebook message me if you have a Facebook, or if you have a Twitter, you can Twitter message me. I am, I am Beth. I am related to somebody famous. No other relatives of my parent or grandparents immigrated to the USA. I heard, like, how do you find you on Facebook? Um, you can go to my about section and, um, my Facebook is there. You just have to press on the blue letters. But all it is, all my Facebook is, is my name, Rebecca, R-E-B-E-K-A-H, and then Dill, D-I-L-L. -L. Yeah, I'm related to Elvis. Because, like, my grandma on my dad's side, I think she's related to him. Or, like, she knew him or something happened where I'm related to Elvis. Elvis would be like my fourth grand Elvis on the Stewart side. On the like Stewart great, side. Great, great. Like Elvis would have been my great 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 grandfather. Or mother. Or something like that. Like like it's on my grandmother's side, which is the Stewarts. Oh, really, Tyler? I think we do have a relative in Marietta. I think she's our relative, at least. Her first name is the same as my last name. And there are not many folks at all with my last name. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait to get my mom's DNA back because I, I want, I want, I want to, uh, no, I, I just want to see who you're talking to. Oh, Tyler, uh, Miss Beth, um, because I want to see who she, like, what she is, like, like, her, like, DNA, like, what she is. Now, like, she already has, she's already been looking up her relatives on Ancestry. Like, she can track them way back. And, and stuff. Trixie says, Rebecca, once a world, most libraries have a group doing research on a family tree. They have reference books. I am mad. I want to be related to him. You are lucky. You and Randy could be king folks. What, is Randy related to Elvis? Cause see, I am, and I'm also related to, um, oh, I forget his name, but my cousin would know him. He was in a really old cowboy movie, like, back in the 30s. I'm related to him. Maybe my mom remembers what he, his name is. No, the, no, the name, her married name. No, the name. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Could be. Hold right, let me go at, let me go ask my mom who that person was, because she may know. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. Hey, Mom, do you remember that guy that, that are we related to, and he was a member of the old cowboy movie? Oh, uh, it was with Adel Wilson, and it was with a guy called Wilson Walsh. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. 
I asked my mom, and she said it was the movie High Hold Silver. Um, it's an old cowboy movie, and he was the short guy in that movie. It's on my dad's side. I'm related to him. I don't know if it. I don't know if it's John. I don't think it's John Wayne. It, it's in the movie that I said. Hi, Heidi. Everybody, thumbs up this uh, video if you guys like it. I am going to be doing and get ready with me, and this is, just looks so awful. <laughs> I, I want to get this healed up before I do get ready with me, because when I do get ready, ready with me, it's not going to look right um, with foundation over it. But I'm planning on doing it. It's just like, I just have to, like, get to it. Trixie says, yeah, remember that thought it was his brother, not Elvis. He had light hair, Elvis had dark. Yeah. Let's name him your friend on face. Oh, Bert. <laughs> yeah, that's my friend Bert. <laughs> <laughs> the one gal that I think is out related is our related is in your your I don't know without that brown bear have no clue I name mine seeing as they hang around a while. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like this 23 me is like really awesome. I, like I said, I was thinking about doing the Ancestry one too, which I, th I believe the Ancestry may be on sale for like $79. Did you try to call me last week, Rebecca? No, Cam, I didn't. There's been so much drama going on. I haven't called anybody. Has your sister had one done? Um, no, she hasn't had hers done. But I may mention it to her so she can get it done. Because it'd be cool. Just because you are related, say, me and my sister, we can have two separate, different DNAs. Like... Her DNA could be, she could have more Native American in her than me. It's like, oh, thank you, Mandy. It's like, each person is different. Like, me and my mom, our DNAs, of course, are going to be different. Because we didn't have the same dad. But, like, they may they'll be similar. My sister told me that the more people in your family that has it done... The more information is found out. Yeah, I wish my dad would get one done and then from 23andMe and then I could put his info in here and then I would have mine and my dad's and then if mom had the 23andMe, I could put her info in here and then it would all match. And then my dad, I could find out what my dad is because um, I don't know what my dad is. Um, I know my cousin, um, Dina, she, they researched and stuff, said that we were related to kings and queens and, and different other people, and she knows more about the Stuart side and, and things like that, but I don't keep up with my dad's side of the family. There's a lot of us. There's, like, my dad, mom and dad had about 12 kids had 12 kids um and so every time we went down there for thanksgiving it grew and grew and grew and grew so then every time we went in the house there was like at thanksgiving there was like over a hundred people there now 
everybody's grown up, got married, had kids, their kids had kids, their kids had kids, and so there's a lot of us. But I don't go see them. If it comes on sale, you should get your dad one for his birthday or Christmas or something between you and your sisters. Yeah, that'd be cool. But my dad, he's like... He's like stubborn. And I don't know if he would do it. He would say, oh, I'll do it. And then never would really do it. It's so amazing that we can get this done now. Isn't it? Yes, it is. It's like really cool. I remember when I was growing up. Yeah. I remember when um we we were growing up, um, they didn't know much about DNA. It was like, no one knew much about DNA. Um, you're welcome. Glad I finally watching live. It takes my mind off things. On the 27th, I'm having surgery to see endometriosis, so been in a funk. Oh, I'm sorry, Mandy. And that surgery does hurt. I had it done. I have endometriosis. And it hurts. Like, you'll be fine maybe the first day. But the second and third day, the third day is the worst. You'll be hurting so bad. Like, cramping really bad. It, it, it It's not good because, like, they went in there and they kind of cauterize some endometriosis or something and I was in so much pain. I mean like it hurt. Like this one person says well, they say I could be related to him by the second great-grandparent, which I don't know who that is. <laughs> but I hope your surgery does go well, uh, Mandy, though. Apparently, they found endometriosis when I had my operation, but... Sorry, guys. Thank you, Brown Bear. Not really nervous about the surgery, just the results and not being able to have kids and stuff. Been suffering with this since 2008 and finally found a doctor to listen. See, that's what happened to me, Mandy. Um, I was in so much pain for about nine years and I was hurt so bad and then I didn't have a period. For nine years. And yes it's TMI. I didn't have a period for like nine years. And then. I was in pain all the time. It, and then. All of a sudden I started getting a period again. And so I went, I went to the OBJ. And I said hey listen. I said they keep on doing ultrasounds. They do CT scans. And, and you guys don't find anything. You guys say that everything is normal. You guys say I have a cyst though. It's a, and you say I have a cyst though. And, and I said, please do surgery on me to see what I have because I'm tired of being in pain. And I mean like I was double in pain. Now, my pain um, was, I am in pain but not as bad as I was. And when they went in there, on my right side, my ovary had busted open. And there was like this black fluid in my, um, down my abdomen. And, um, but then my left side looked okay. The ovary was nice and white and pink. But then my right side looked all nasty. Like the ovary looked black. 
And then he did say he didn't know if I had endometriosis inside my uterus or not, but he, he thinks I do because my uterus is bigger than normal, but he didn't know. Um, and then, like, after that, the pain was really bad, trying to heal and things like that. But, like, if you have endometriosis, you can still have kids. It's harder for you to have kids when you have endometriosis. But, you can still be able to have kids. It just depends on how bad your endometriosis is. Women always get the worst of it. It's a good job. We are strong. Yes, exactly, um, Beth. And that's really cool, um, Tyler. Mine is the opposite. I have severe periods. Yeah, uh, I've had numerous ultrasounds, CAT scan, pelvic exams, and they all say I'm fine. They can find anything, and most doctors think I'm drug-seeking. I know, and that stinks, Mandy, because... People ruin it for those who really need it. And so now, now all the doctors look at everybody as a druggie or once drug seeking or, and that's not true. Not everybody's like that. But those who have screwed the system and, and ruined it for everyone who really needs it, um, that is what irritates me. And see, like with my periods, when, when I started having them, um, before they had stopped, I would hurt. I'd have the worst cramps ever in my lower, in my, it would be in my lower kind of upper back and then my lower um, abdomen. Yeah. I know, I know how it is, I know how it is, Mandy. And like, I kept on telling them for nine years, there's something wrong, there's something wrong, I don't feel right. And they wouldn't listen to me. And finally I said, you need to do surgery, can't you go in there and explore and see what is going on? So I said, I'm tired of being in pain. Is that treatment for um, endometriosis? Yeah. Most of the time for the treatment for endometriosis, they do like pain control, like pain medicine and all that stuff. But mo but mostly half the time that if you have endometriosis, you normally have to have surgery and either have a hysterectomy or surgery to cut out the endometriosis. Because what it is, is endometriosis is your... Um, is like lining in your uterus and uh, but that lining in your uterus is actually grows outside of your uterus and it attaches to like your intestines it can attach to the back wall of your pelvis it it, it grows in and it they attaches to things and it causes a lot of pain so then like when you have a period Instead of just bleeding, you know, outside where you get blood out, you actually are bleeding inside wherever the endometriosis is. So, like, like if it's outside your, on your uterus, outside, you're bleeding actually inside. That makes sense. You're in the right place here, Manny. Definitely not alone with it. Hang in there, sweetie. Had to quit school. Thanks for reassurance that I'm not alone in this. Oh, you're welcome, Mandy. Cause you're not. I, I, like, I still get pain in the fact that I was gonna make an appointment and tell them that I'm still in pain. I said since they did that surgery, I said I'm still in pain. The pain never went away, and I may end up having to have a hysterectomy, but I don't want one because I want a, I want a baby, but. 
my mom thinks that because of everything I went through, I shouldn't try to have a baby. Go back. Yeah. Um, my mom says I shouldn't um, have a baby because of everything I've been through. And, and like, I... I, I believe if I ever have a baby, they would have to get me off my pain medicine because I don't want my baby to be addicted to um, pain meds. Because And then they go through that withdrawal and you can't hold them, you can't touch them because they're sick. And I don't want to put a baby through that. I don't know what they could put me on for my pain though, but I would never want my child to go to opiate withdrawal that's just horrible seeing them shaking so bad and you can't touch them that you can't hold them and and they have to give them morphine to help them with the pain and the withdrawals and then slowly like decrease that medicine and get them off like they have to go through a detox the babies have to go through a detox and for parents who do that to their unborn child, that's just horrible and wrong. That's just my opinion. And unfortunately, I have to go. God bless me and God bless all. Um, you too, Susan, and thank you for stopping by. I've been desperate for a baby, but my hysterectomy was out of my control but I wouldn't have been ever well enough to carry or look after one it's shit and I'm struggling but it's not the end of the world we can let it be yeah I know it's just sad and you know what my sister said to me um Mandy says I'm 35 and I am right there with you about wanting babies. And it's so mature of you and non-selfish for you to think about your child. And not just you. Tyler says, I've had and closed sculpies twice by two OBGYNs and was told my cervix opening was the size of a pencil eraser. Head glad I never had kids. I think I have allergies to milk. It's sometimes hard. Yeah. Um. See, I'm not even married. I don't even have a boyfriend, and I'm 33. I really never had a boyfriend except the one I dated buddies and they could never drive or take me places and things like that and I want someone who can drive and take me places and 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 recognize like give me flowers and when it's my birthday and the boyfriend I had never did that. Yeah, and you know what my sister told me? She's like, Rebecca, she's like, if you ever wanted to have a baby, I would carry it for you. This is my sister, Natasha. I said, Tasha, I don't think you would be able to carry a baby. And, and yeah, she, she's gotten bigger. Like, she used to be a size zero. She used to be tiny. And yeah, she's getting older. She's almost 40. She's like 38, I believe. But she said that to me. I'm not married either, but just she's thinking of the future. Yeah, Mandy. Brown Bear says, be patient. Um, God will bring just the right man to you when the time is perfect. Yeah, but the problem is with that is I never go out. I'm always home in my bed. Hi, DC, I am. I don't go out, so I I would never be hit. How how am I going to meet a um, boyfriend if I don't go out anywhere? And and I don't like um, online dating because I tried that one time, and the person I was dating 
um, lived in California, and he's my friend still. Um, he's my friend, but that didn't really work out because I wanted to go see him, and life can surprise you, Rebecca. You just never know. Exactly. I know. I pray all the time. And I pray and say and tell God, thank you for letting me meet you guys and meet good people that are on the internet. There's a few of you guys who are really good and and I don't talk to you guys all the time, but I know you, you guys have my back and not everybody on the internet is bad. Not everybody is out to get you. There are actually really good people. And when I started YouTube... I did it for the makeup. I knew nothing about drama and what drama was. I always just did unboxings and my makeup and hauls and, and reviews and things like that. And then I got scammed and then that's when all that drama happened. But my channel is going to be changing and there's not going to be no drama. I'm tired of sticking up for myself and trying to prove to myself when you guys know the truth and you guys know what's real and 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 stuff and I don't have to prove anything my mom tells me the same thing we need to go out to meet someone and tells me we need to go to church yeah Mandy that's what my my mom says but still you can meet someone in church and they not be good they can be bad too have you thought about taking a fun class of something sh short for a hobby that you're interested in. Um, the diabetes class that that teaching thing that I'm in, they have cooking classes, and I'm planning on tr going to try to do a cooking class. Your future man might come in here one day. Um, but do you remember Greg? Craig. I met my boyfriend two years ago with a job coach. I don't drive. Oh, really, Heather? You remember Greg? Um, I need to call him because I've been promising to call him. Um, but I talked to him. I haven't talked to him in a few months. But I do talk to him on, like, Facebook Messenger and things like that. He really does like me. And he only lives about four hours away from me. Um, he wants me to come down and meet him and, and stuff like that. He is a really nice person. Yes, I just asked him. Yeah. He, he, he's really, really nice. I actually really do like him. I've talked to him a couple times on um, Facebook, like the video chatting. I just love his eyes, like, but see, like, he can't drive, his truck is, like, totally broken down, so he can't drive, his, um, he's on a tight budget, and I would have to probably take a bus, go down there, see, I can drive, but I'm afraid to drive on the internet, on the internet, ah, I'm afraid to drive on the interstate, but I need to get used to driving on an estate because if sometimes my mom, I'll be the one driving and I'm the one taking care of my mom and and I need a vacation. I haven't taken a vacation probably since 2009, 10. Yeah, but yeah, he, he's really nice. He's really cool. He would, he's been telling his friends that he likes me and likes my personality. He said, <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, oh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, that sounds really good, uh, Mandy. Like, if I ever took a vacation, you guys are going along with me. I don't know if I could, I would have to find some place that had free internet, 
and I would take you guys along with me. Of course, I have my phone here that does internet. Um, but yeah, I would take you guys along. Like, my uh, Sammy, my dog, like, we, our car, my car that I drive is kind of my car because I drive that one and I feel safer driving that one than my, uh, than my mom's car, my mom's other car. Um, I went to go start it because I was going to go check my mailbox and, and the battery was dead in the car. So we had to get that charged up and then fix the tire because the tire had low air in the tire. Hi, I'm Ibia elf and yeah exactly brown bear and so mom took me to the post office checked my mail of course i didn't get anything except like ads and sammy wanted to go and this is the second time we took sammy out just for a ride and now he he wants to go with us and he just sits there and rides in the car he's like yeah, man. <laughs> I'm going for a ride. I'm not too far from Marietta. I live in Charleston. Oh, really, Mandy? That's where my sister lives. Right now, my sister's in New York on a vacation. But there, but my sister's thinking about moving to Florida. I don't know what part, um, but they're they're thinking about moving to Florida, like over the summer. So that so that's gonna be a real bummer, because oh thank you Heather, because <laughs> because um. I love my sister, and if she moves to Florida, that's like about 14 hours, 15 hours away, and I won't get to see her, and and I can't think about not being able to see my sister. You two should meet up one day, you and Mandy. Yeah, I live here. All my life, except for two years, I lived in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. My sis, my sister does. Do you, Mandy? Do you go see plays? You live in Florida, Heather. I know. I'm there like this summer to check out places to live. And um. And see, my sister is a production stage manager. And so she puts on plays, and like in Charleston, she does kids' plays. Well, she she did the Peter Pan play, and I think she's gonna be doing another play, and she's gonna be in a play, um, or she already was in a play. I'm not really sure. Oh, you live in Wisconsin? I've been there like only in the airport one time. Seen one in a long time. But I've seen some from Quanta Players Club. Yeah. But, but yeah, I was down there like. When was I down there? Was it December? November. Sometime I was down there and we seen the Peter Pan play. But it was, it was really, really fun. Yeah. It, it was one that, it, I forget the name of the place, but it was by Charleston Mall. And I, I can't believe they're closing Charleston Mall down. I can't believe that they're closing that um, because they're not getting enough, I guess the rent's high or something. Yeah, they're closing the whole entire mall down. That mall is like three stories high and... When I went to go see my sister's play, we ran there, and that was the very first time I ever been in that mall, and and I wanted to go again because it had Sephora, but it had all these high-end stores in there that I would love to go into, 
but now they're all closed and and stuff and it makes me mad the mall's been here since before I was born yeah and I I guess they said it's because it's also in a bad area too and and that's why they're closing it why are they closing it down I, my sister said because number one I think it's in the bad area and number two I think the rent is probably high and and expensive yeah I like support now we do have a Sephora in Parkersburg and and but I had I only been in there one time one time yeah one time. The place you went to was the Charleston Civic Center for the play. Yes, that's where I went. I think so much shopping is done online. Brick and mortar stores may be suffering. The mall is, the mall is Charleston Town Center. Yeah. We don't have one in the UK, but it makes me drool online. Yeah, I went to Alta. I've never been in Alta, and we don't have Alta here anywhere. I think the closest Alta is like maybe in Columbus or Charleston. I don't know if Charleston has an Alta. Um, and then um, I would love to go there. I did receive a magazine from them. Um, yesterday and I was looking at the stuff because they're having the 21 days of sale stuff and I was looking at stuff that I may get I don't know um, I want to get the Too Faced um, unicorn palette that they had that whole collection of all the unicorn like lippies and highlighters and I want to get like the whole collection And I wish they would build an altar here in Marietta. They have room for it. Because they built an IHOP and Wings. And then they have all these hotels that they built. We don't need like eight hotels in this small town. They should have built like a Target and an Alta. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mariska. And yeah, the mall hasn't been keeping up. With type rent payments, we do have an Alta in South Charleston. Well, yeah, I would love to go to that. I just love makeup. I, I don't, I don't know why. Oh, guys, this right here is my backdrop. Here, I'll open this right here. This is my backdrop um, that I got, uh, and I haven't opened it. It's been set in for like four days, and I just haven't opened it. And it's a shower curtain, but it's really, 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 really pretty. So, and I wanted to get it because it's just so pretty. And I don't know. It's a pink butterfly girl floral dress with flower design. Fairy. It's a fairy angel wing shower curtain. It's really, really pretty. Too bad you couldn't see the design of it. Let me see if I can bring it up on my phone. I did put it on my Twitter. Um, it's really, really pretty. I like it. And I guess it comes with these, like, cheap ring things. But I got better hooks for it. And I got a, um, a bar to hang it on. I just have to find a place where I can hang it. Um, it's from A-M-B-E Amberson. That's the company. But it, it really is. It's really, really pretty. And then I got the classic 
Walmart beauty box. I did open the Transsetter one, but this one's the classic one for people who are over the age of 35. Um, I, I have to do a video on that. Um, let me get to my Twitter. And I'll show you what it looks like. Um... This is what it looks like. That's going to be my backdrop. It's like really, really pretty. Beautiful. I thought... <laughs> sorry about the lighting. Um, I thought that was really pretty because I like butterflies. And, and that girl is really, really pretty too. Yeah. Not, oh, not something, dang, spell check. <laughs> um, oh, and when you clean your room, you can just hide stuff behind the shower curtain. <laughs> yeah, but you know what my mom was saying? Beautiful, love butterflies and fairies. Oh, thank you. Um, you know what my mom was saying? She said that, um, may oh, we can hang it up in the bathroom and then you can just do your videos in the bathroom. I said, I don't want to do my videos in the bathroom. I don't want to be like Trisha. They're not professional. You do your videos in the bathroom. <laughs> my lips are so dry. I need to, like, exfoliate them. But... I want, I want to open this, but I've been on here for like 93 minutes, and if I open this, then people won't watch the video all the way, the live stream all the way through. Well, I could just open it and then do a video on it, um, do a video on it, um, yeah, I'm going to open it. Do another video for it after this. Yeah. Open it and then do a video. Um, after you show us. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it if I can open it. But this one is the classic. And if you don't know what uh, Walmart Beauty Box is, it's a $5 box. The box is basically free. But you just pay the shipping, which is five dollars, and you get shipping. You get um, sample size and some full size items sometimes in this box, and everything that's in this box you can get at Walmart. And um, and this is for people who are over the age of thirty-five. The other one that I have, you get it. See, I opened three of them. This one. This one was a limited edition that they, um, like, buddied up with, um, in style. Um, and then this one was for, um, people who are under the age of 35. And I'll show you what that, what's in that one. Okay, you open it up and it looks like this. It doesn't have, it doesn't tell you, like, what's in the box. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. There's some goodies in here. Okay, there's a soft and dry aluminum free sparkling citrus all day deodorant. Of course I throw it. <laughs> Hold on guys. Hold on. It fell. Okay. 
Here's the deodorant. Wow. On that Walmart box, it must be sort of an advertising type thing. Hoping you will go there and buy the products. <laughs> I'm not listening. I'm not listening to the over 35 rule. Yeah. Ooh, that smells pretty good. It smells... It kind of smells soapy. Sparkling citrus. What well, kind of smells like soap? Then I got this, and I'm gonna give this to my mom because she she likes bath salts. Um, this is for aches and pains, muscle relief, concentrated mineral bath soap, Epsom salt. Um, it doesn't it doesn't say. It, it guess it doesn't have a scent to it. I don't think. It has menthol, Epsom, and sea salt, and it has eucalyptus in it. So you get that. Then you get this Aquaphor Advanced Therapy Ortman Body Spray, which I got this in my other box. I haven't used it yet. But you get that. Then you get this Gold Bond Ultimate Radiance Renewal, Coconut Oil, Coconut Butter, African Shea Butter. Um, exfoliate and nourishes visible dry skin. It's a Radiance Renewal Cream Oil. It must be like a shower gel. Like a shower gel? <laughs> probably smells minty. Yeah, probably. Apply the blue to skin as often as needed. Oh no, this is a lotion. It's a lotion. And then... Oh, I, I got this one, my other one. It's the Purifying Brightening Pilling Gel. Refine and Clarify. Um, by the Soei... I have this one. I need to do it. Maybe tomorrow, since tomorrow's Sunday, I'll come on and we could do a mask. Cause you have you noticed that on Sundays there's no one on. Like there's no one on on Sundays. Like no YouTuber is really on on Sundays. It's just really weird. Like, they take a break. And then I got from Shea Moisture. It's coconut and hibiscus. Ooh, coconut and hibiscus. I uh, miss Bethy. I'm the baby of the family and only U.S. born. My closet is eight years older, older than me. Always treat me like a kid, although I'm pushed 58, for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, I know how that is, Tyler. Um, this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo with Silk Protein and Nim Oil. It's for thick and curly hair. And... This is the shampoo, and this is the moisturizer and defined. But that looks really nice. But it's for thick, curly hair. I don't have, I have wavy hair, but my hair's not thick. My mom would probably like this because her hair is thick, but it's frizzy. Adult coloring books are life after. My surgery, they will be my entertainment for recovery. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't sit and do those adult coloring books. Like, some of them are just too, in, like, too much of a design. And it, like, I have ADHD, even though I'm not, I haven't been hyper. Like, 
I think I just have ADD, but they said I have ADHD, but I can't concentrate a lot. How often do you get these boxes? Um, you get these boxes four seasons. Um, you get them winter, spring, summer, fall. Um, that's when you get them. And so it's like every three months, I think. That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, Demaya. And then I got like a little pamphlet about this. It's new, available at Walmart. Oh, so many cool adult coloring books, but I would rather crochet than when I'm setting or watching TV. I wish I could crochet brown bear. Um, I tr I I don't know like um how to like I'm left-handed, and I know my stepmom used to crochet and all that, and I know my step aunt does that. And they try to teach me, but they're right-handed, and I'm left-handed, so I can't do it. Now, my mom, when my mom was younger, um, <clears throat> like in her 30s and younger, she used to crochet. She crocheted blankets. She crocheted everything. Now, she doesn't do it. <laughs> caped. When I call her, I always am drooling. <laughs> caped. Maybe you can find online videos for left-handers. Yeah, I always try to, I do watch sometimes, but it just, just seems hard. I used to do, um, love, I used to love crafts when I was younger. And I used to do the friendship bracelets. And then I got into the rubber band phase where you make those rubber band bracelets. I have a whole case uh, rubber bands. Um, I probably have over a thousand rubber bands where you can make those rubber band bracelets. I was really good at one time making them, but then I stopped. My grandma taught me to crochet when I was a, in junior high. Loom knitting, adult coloring, and rainbow loom I like. I'm made you a friendship bracelet and it's in your box. Oh, Miss Bethy. You shouldn't have told me that, Miss Bethy. But thank you. And Miss Bethy, I want to send you some stuff. Um, I don't, I don't, I guess we could talk through DMs, like what kinds of things you like or want to try, what things, what things you want to try from the U.S. Yeah, my mom's like, so anyway, hold, hold on, let me finish. So guys, that's everything in the box. But for like $5, you can't beat this. Like, you get a whole set of deodorant. Like, these are good, like, um, and you get a mask. Good, good products. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, my mom um, said, well, you know, when you get that box, some of that stuff's for me. I said, Mom, I, I told Beth that I would share with you, but not the whole box is yours. I said, I know you love chocolate, but, and I, I can't really eat it, but I'm not going to eat it all. I said, we're going to share. <laughs> Uh, what, what's your two favorite colors? Um, I love purple, of course. I just love purple. And I love, I'm um, like a turquoise. And what else color do I like? I like pink, but I like turquoise and purple. Cool. Made me think when I worked at the hospital, I made badge holders and stuff with beads. That, that was fun, and I still have some of the stuff to do that. I put two of some chocolates 
in there especially. Okay, Beth. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what's in this box, even though I've already done this box. Um, this is for the younger, younger crowd. It's like the same paper and everything. But this has different stuff in it. Um, I think everything is still in here. Uh, so you get this. No, not everything is in here. I don't think. Yeah, maybe it is. You get that. Hey, Jesse. Oh, that's cool, Tyler. And then, this was my really cool part. I got a Maybelline um, 125 Magnetic Mauve Lip Liner. Full size. This has been like six, eight bucks. This pays for the whole box itself. And then I got a Maybelline 575 Matte Brown Blush Lipstick. They always give me browns. And I'm not a big brown person. But it's a it's an okay color. It, but it's just like a brown. It looks like it has pink in it. But maybe it does. But that's what it looks like. And this lipstick right here alone would have been like six dollars. How are you, Jesse? And then I got the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. On over 35s allowed to wear makeup. Um, they could have put a lipstick in the box, too. Yeah, I, I know, um, Beth. It's like, they don't think older people like makeup, so they think the younger people like makeup. And, um, and so they give the younger people makeup. <laughs> Cape Crusader. <laughs> and then it just tells you about the new thing and how to do your lips. So that's everything you got in here. I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm missing a product, but I don't know. That's. And then they sometimes come out with limited edition boxes. They sometimes come out with the limited edition ones. And so then they came out with this one where. Okay, sorry guys. Anyway. Yeah, it keeps on going out. I'm sorry. So this is what this one looks like. Now, this was a limited edition one. And I believe this was $5 too. It could have been 7 But um, this stuff is like packed full of stuff. Um, the first thing is the Olay Cleansing Infusion um, in Cashmere. It's body wash. This stuff, guys, let me tell you. Smells amazing. It smells a little bit fruity. You know what it smells like? I don't know if you guys remember it. This is, this is a type of gum that they had in the US. It was the zebra gum. The zebra gum that had it was yellow and had a zebra on it and each piece of the gum um, had zebra stripes. You guys remember that gum? I do. That's just what this smells like. My cousin lives in Australia. Matter of fact, we just got done talking to her. Yes, that gum was the best gum, Mandy. And then Crest 3D on white, whitening therapy toothpaste. And then... Yes, it was different fruity flavors. I it, it I mean like it was the best gum when you're little. You always wanted it. But it the flavor didn't last at all. Then I got a little sam a trial size of this Olay Regenerous um whipped active moisturizer. Guys, 
this is expensive at Walmart. It's like 20 something bucks for this. And I got a, um, <laughs> I got, um, Yeah, I know, Jesse. And then the first five seconds, and then and then the gum would lose its fl flavor. And this stuff smells amazing. It smells like hair products, like uh, Pantene. It kind of smells like Pantene, and they give you a good amount. Amount. I can't wait to use this. I haven't used it yet. I mean, like, guys, I've been getting good stuff this month through beauty boxes and then through these Walmart boxes. I mean, like, I can't wait to start trying out some of this stuff. And then I got a Secret Clinical Strength um, deodorant, full size. Oh, Ellie Beth. Bethy, I think the fillers hurt. She says she's stopping. High night core. So then I got this Pantene foam conditioner. I never tried a foam conditioner. And then lastly, I got another mask. And this is by Found. And it's a coconut sheet mask. And by the way, guys, I am going, I'm getting a sheet mask or a mask um, subscription. And it's it's called Pibu. P-I-I-B-U. Pibu. And you get like 8 to 10 masks each month. And for... How much is it? Eight to ten mask. I think for maybe nineteen dollars, twenty dollars. After we look. So that is what is in this box. I mean, guys, this box is awesome. Yeah, I need to research my grandma and exactly where they came from. I know his last name was changed to Potter, but I think it was something like before immigrating. Now, Nightcore, we don't talk like that in here. But yeah, and then, okay. I got another box here I have to open. And this is from Hush, hush.com. I'm a meanie. Nope, I'm not a meanie. We just don't talk like that in my chat. If you can't be nice, then don't speak or do the spice. <laughs> that just rhymed. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> if you can't be nice, then don't do the spice. I don't know what I was meaning by that. <laughs> oh, okay, Captain. I, I mean, Cap or Sailor. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with that, but I won't say my original last name. That's okay, Tyler. You don't have to. But, um... Yeah, Beth. You are a poet and didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah. But I had a pretty good, pretty good, um, day today. I didn't really do much. Um, I woke up about 10 a.m., 
And then, um, like, on the weekends, it's just kind of boring. It's like, the day, since the time changed, since we had to move the clocks up an hour, it's like, the day goes by faster. And the one night when there was all that drama and hatred and all that stuff with my mom and then me and all that stuff, I stayed up all night long. I stayed up until like 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. And I never stay up. Ever. And that night when they were dragging mom because of the... Uh, orientation thing like when they think she was a homophobic which she's not thing um, I stayed up all night me and her stayed up all night until 6 a.m. and I I not I never stay up <laughs> really Heather the YouTube thing is bad for reclusive types Okay, bye, Tyler. Thank you for stopping. Bye. I hope I see you tomorrow. To when I do my mask. What time do you guys want me to come on tomorrow? I'm Eastern Time in the United States. Do you want me to come on around this time tomorrow? Around like 7... 7.30? Or do you want me to come on at 3 p.m.? Or 12.30? Noon. Because I want to do, I want to do a mask. 7.30? Yeah, because I can come on at 12.33 or 7.30. bit earlier than tonight because it, it's 2 a.m. now. Um, I can come on. What time would it be when it's 3? Like, if it's 3 p.m. here, what time would it be there? Bye, Tyler. I think I'm four or five hours ahead. So three, four, five, six, seven. It'd be 7 p.m. there. Guys, I'll come on at 3 p.m. Because it'll be 7 p.m. Best time. Beth, it, yeah. So. If you can't, like, if you can't come when I'm on live, don't worry. I will leave my um, live stream up. I always do leave my live streams up. The only ones that I've been hiding is the drama ones, the ones that are really mean um a really bad that has a lot of drama in it but these ones like i did tonight um is a good live stream and i will leave it up so people can watch it um i normally would never delete any of my videos i just hid the drama ones because i don't want that stuff on my channel because i want to do better videos and do good videos so then companies can see me if and if they like me then I can do um like review products and stuff but I just do YouTube just to do it for fun and things like that and remember to thumbs up this video if you like this video um I just like to do um YouTube for fun I just like to see you guys happy to um entertain you guys I am normally a nice person. Sometimes I have my little meltdown things. 
And I don't like you guys seeing that because you guys get worried for me. And guys, don't worry. I would never, I would never hurt myself. I thumbs up on on my way in. Make sure you're all do on your way out. Yeah, yeah. I would never hurt myself, so you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, I would never go to that level to hurt myself. You know, I do suffer from mental illness. I would never do that because that's just a sh shellfish thing to do to your family, to yourself, and it's better to talk things out and talk things out of how you are feeling. Um, and, and if you are feeling like that, go get help. I know some people, it's hard to understand when somebody gets that low, they don't understand. But I'm just telling you, I would never hurt myself. We talked about all kinds of things and no drama. It was great. We all have those meltdown moments. Yeah, Mandy. See, I have PTSD. If we didn't hear from Mama Bear. If we didn't hear from... What the heck? How in the world did that just start up on its own? I just st started saying I wasn't going to hurt myself and my... This phone just like started playing music on its own. I didn't do nothing to it. But anyway, hold on. What were you saying? If we didn't hear from Mama Bear as well as you, I think we worry more. So it's good that Mama Bear comes on if you don't, so we can check on you. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it's not no ghost. I don't. We don't have ghosts in our house, <laughs> Mandy. I, it, it was like a wish. It was like wish dot com that went off. It was like an app. <laughs> yeah, Miss Buzzy. Like if and, and also like if you hear stuff about me and mom from the other side. And, um, and they talk bad and, and, and things like that. It's not true. If it doesn't come out of my mouth or my mom's mouth, it's not true. Because what, what people need to do is, instead of listening to the gossip, the rumors, they need to go straight to that person and see if it's true. It's the shopping ghost saying, buy me. Yeah, and it was for like a camera. <laughs> Beth, it was for a camera. And like cameras were like swinging like this and playing music. <laughs> God knows that what you just said about cell phone is what is right. Yeah. Because... If you self-harm, that's not God. Um, God is a loving God, and he wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Oh, thank you, Brown Bear. I got these at the Dollar Tree, but they were on strings. So, like, they had, like, six on a string, I think, or five on a string, but six rows. All I did was take them off the string and hang them up, so I would have some kind of sort of background until my shower curtain came in and I would have a real background. Um, so yeah. They're very pretty. What does your shower curtain look like? Um, 
I did show a picture, but my battery's gonna go dead. Let me see if I can, um, it's on my Twitter. Um, Brian Bear, do you know my Twitter? It's a picture of the shower curtain. It's a, it's a fairy, and she has butterflies all around her. Um, it's on my Twitter if you want to um, go on there. I'll have to accept you guys, and um, I'll accept you. And to be honest, I found your channel from, from the drama. But I took time to watch your videos, and I know that you're a good person. Oh, thank you, Mandy. I don't even know how to do Twitter. Oh, here, here, let me get it then. Let me see if it'll allow me to do it. Because I know my battery's going about dead. And I, and I thank you of that, Mandy. I thank you that you, you are judging me for what you see and not for what others say and yes i do have mental illness yes i have a brain injury i had low oxygen to my brain when it happened yes i'm 33 but my brain isn't 33 they they say i have a childlike brain that's what stephanie said and it is true I can understand some stuff, I can comprehend stuff, and understand some things, but some things I have trouble comprehending, and, and like when people are joking, um, or being serious, sometimes I have trouble discerning if they're joking, playing around, or if they're actually being serious. Um, I've always had that problem, um, and it was because I've then just little and and they would make fun of me and then they would turn around and say, Oh, I'm just joking. Well I can't tell sometimes. Um The pets. Beck seems nice. Never seen her rude to anyone. Now Mama Bear is a different story. Well the past Rebecca is a kind and sweet giving person. Now, the past, if you would get to know my mom, and I know you've seen my mom go off and do her thing and and stuff like that, but if you would get to know my mom, and I know she's my mom, and I know I'm going to stick up for her, but if you get to really know her, my mom is actually a good, nice person. She helps people a lot, and my mom is very smart. Um, she, um, she knows what she's talking about. Actually, my mom is smarter than me. Um, sometimes, but this is Becca Shannon, so respect. Um, sometimes my mom knows more stuff than I do. And, so yeah, my mom is smarter than me. Um, Brown Bear, this is what my background is going to look like. No, I just meant she likes all that drama. She don't really like all the drama um the past. My screen has Becca frozen. We um we started um Brown Bear. Like we start your channel. Um my mom really does not like the drama. My mom was pulled into the drama because she was trying to protect me when I was scammed by somebody here on YouTube. Um, and then they dragged my mom, so my mom defends herself and, and stuff. I haven't chatted before because I wanted to watch most of your video first to see what you're really about. And I think you're great. You and the other people in this chat help me feel better tonight. Oh, um, thank you, Mandy, and I'm glad that I get to, um, I got to help you. Is Rebecca frozen for all, for you all also? I don't think so, Brown Bear. Because they're talking to me. 
I'm glad you feel a bit better. She froze before, but I refresh. And she's good now. So refresh your page, brown bear. It glitches, but she's not frozen. I Barbara, close the window and click it again. Click the notification for the for this again, and it should be okay. But yeah, my mom is a good, she's very smart, and if you guys, those who doubt her, and those who have opinions because your opinion is based on what STS says and, and things like that, um, you should voice your own opinion and just watch her. My mom loves to garden, so if you like to garden and you like flowers, my mom likes to garden and do flowers, and she's going to be doing that this spring and summer. Okay, this is this is my background, brown bear. It's a shower curtain. And my mom loves eagles. And my mom is funny. She does have a sense of humor. Um, and she jokes around with me a lot. And... And it's not a Barbie, it's a fairy. And like, she jokes, a lot, she jokes around a lot, and sometimes she jokes, a lot, jokes around with me, and I don't know that she's joking a lot, joking around with me. Um, yeah, I thought it was very pretty too, Brown Bear. Um, so, yeah. But, um, it's like a sexy fairy. Yeah, the past, yeah. It's a very beautiful fairy. <clears throat> and I like, I, like I said, I like butterflies. I've always liked butterflies. And, and I could be funny too. And, and I know I have a couple of scribes that says, oh, Rebecca, you're funny, you're, you're hilarious. I'm like, really? <laughs> I can't tell if I'm that funny or not. Yeah, exactly, Brown Bear. It is. And I'm so glad that YouTube now has where um, when you replay a live stream, the, um, the chat plays too. So now the people who haven't watched my live stream can watch it and see what everybody said in the chat. It's like, it's really nice that they did that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here because I've been on for 132 minutes and about 135 minutes. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up it. Um, Yeah, Brown Bear. Manny says, I've seen in your videos, Mama Bear is there for you. So any mom that is there for her daughter, is it okay to me? Yeah. Even though I'm 33, my mom is very protective over me because of all everything I've been through. And I was born early. And so my mom is more protective over me than my sister. Like, my sister, my mom is protective of my sister, but she's way more protective of me because of everything I've been through. Sorry guys, sorry about that. What's my mom's YouTube channel? Um, it's Mama Bear. It's M A. It's like one one word, and I believe she has a picture. I forget what her picture is. It's either an eagle or it's something else. But it's just one thing. Um, that yeah, Mama Bear M A M M A, and then Bear. 
And she's almost to 900 subscribers, guys. She's 100 away from 1,000. Did you know my mom gets more views on her videos than she does me? And I said, Mom, I said, maybe I need to um, go through Octoly through your channel. And I would get it. <laughs> because you get a 1,000 or more views on each of your videos. And, um, yeah, lion face. No, no, it, yeah, it's lion face with, with a cross. That's what it is. Unless she changed it. Um, because, like, to get Octoly, you have to have a thousand views on all your videos. And at least, like, once a month or something like that. But you have to have it on all your videos. And I know my mom gets that, but I doubt that they would give it to her because she does like drama and she don't do be she don't do beauty stuff. But I love to do Octoly. It, it's so amazing. I test out products and and show you guys them. And if I don't like some or if I don't use something, I can put it in a giveaway. Later, guys. Take care and stay out of the trouble. I will the past. And by the way, guys, I'm going to get off here, been on here, like I said, for 137 minutes. And I love you guys. And stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to do a video. And then I'll do a live stream later that night. And I'm going to do a mask and maybe a get ready with me. Um, yeah, I do, Brown Bear. And, um... If you're new, you're not subscribed, subscribe to me and subscribe to everyone that's in the ch in the chat. Everyone is good, drama-free people that's in my chat. Um, I love you guys. Bye.